Time for another DC Multiverse McFarland Toys unboxing video of some long overdue figures that I've had in storage for some time. And I'm only gonna get to unbox them. What's up guys? Timster here with the Batman Last Night on Earth set. Meaning the builder figure for this set is Bane. Yes, the same Bane who broke Batman's back. But very different in the story of Batman Last Night on Earth, which I have a copy here, hardcover. It's by Scott Snyder and Greg Capullo, and it supposedly tells the very last Batman story of their run on Batman. Uh, it's, a, it's worth reading. Uh, it came out la uh, two years ago, 2019. Three big issues, and now they're compiled into this thing. So you can find it at your nearest bookstore or comic book shop. Uh, here are the four figures. We have Batman with Joker's head. We have Omega, the big bad of this story. I won't reveal who he is because that's a spoiler. We have Scarecrow and we have Wonder Woman. They all have pieces of Bane. For Batman here, who has a straight jacket, that's in the beginning of the story. He has the head and the fists of Bane. And here's an illustration in the back. Holding Joker's head through the desert. And here's a couple of figures from that lineup. Next, we have Omega, who has the legs of Bane. And here is an illustration of the figure, how he looks in the comic, as illustrated by Greg Capullo. Pretty cool. Then we have Wonder Woman, who helps out Batman in her journey. She has right here. Yes, the arms of Bane. Pretty tough, and she has a different haircut and a scarred face. Here's the illustration, right there. I got Capullo again. And finally, the final figure of this set is Scarecrow, who doesn't have a lower part. Yes, it's just long arms, and he has needles where he releases his fear toxin, and he has the torso of Bane, the biggest part. Why? Because when you build Bane, he rides in the back of Bane. Basically a sidekick. So here are the four figures we're going to be opening in this long overdue unboxing. And that will be coming up next. Before opening them, let's look at the packaging again. All of these figures have 22 points of articulation. Here they are, still sealed. Beside the Batman Last Night on Earth graphic novel by Snyder and Capullo. Well, can't wait to take them out of the box. Of course, each figure comes with a trading card and a stand. So you can insert the peg holes of their feet into and they can stand still if you want. Dynamic poses, of course, will be up to the customer. You can pick these up at your local toy shops and department stores and i've had these for a couple of months now so it's time to open up the bane set batman so of course we're going to start with the hero of this story the cape crusader or rather a straight jacket batman not wearing his usual bat suit and again he comes with the head and fists of bane and the head of joker which a lot of people seem to want to get. Anyway, this is uh, one of four parts to complete Bane. Actually, if you want to start it with Scarecrow, you can, but I'm going to start with the Cape Crusader himself. I already cut the sides, the sticker sealants with a cutter. So we're going to open this baby right now. Yeah. There you go. Take it out of the packaging. Like so. There he is with scotch tape and twisties that we have to remove. So that'll be coming up in the next segment, but to give an overview first of the figure in its clamshell, there it is. As well as the trading card, which I collect, and the stand. I'll all be out after this.
Now out of the box is Batman, Bruce Wayne from the first act of Batman Last Night on Earth. Here he is, looking pretty well detailed, well sculpted by McFarlane Toys. And here's the severed animated head of the Joker in a lamp. And there's the stand so you can keep this straight wherever you're going to pose it. Looks really cool. And then here is the fists and the head of Bane, the Build-A-Figure. So here is the trading card for this version of Batman from that story as drawn by Greg Capullo. In the back of the trading card is the data file, source Batman Last Night on Earth number one, comics 2019. In a dystopian future, Bruce Wayne wakes up in Arkham Asylum. He has his youth, but he was never Batman. Bruce dons his bat cowl, breaks out of the asylum, and, accompanied by the Joker's animated severed head, begins a surreal journey to solve the mystery of his past and find out who's responsible for destroying the world. Encountering both friends and enemies along the way, the Dark Knight's quest through the devastated landscape may prove to be his last adventure ever. So that's why it's a pretty ambitious and it paid off story. It has an action figure line from Todd McFarlane, McFarlane Toys. DC Multiverse license went to them, so here it is. There's Batman. And for the next figure, we are going to go with a dose of fear, the Scarecrow. That's the torso of Bane, and that's coming up next. Second figure of this four-figure set, Scarecrow. Time to take him out of the box. Oh, it's heavy. <laughs> heavy torso. Move him out. There you go. So, there is Jonathan Crane without any lower section of his body and the torso of Bane. That's self explanatory. There's the long fingers or mechanical fingers with. The needles that induce fear, the fear toxin, we're going to take that out. We just have to cut off this twisty for both. And here is the trading card and, oh, a transparent stand. Much like what they used with Superman and Batman Beyond. Here he is in the back. Yep, that's coming up next. Remove it from the packaging. And here we have out of the package, Dr. Jonathan Crane. AKA the Scarecrow, looking more terrifying and like a zombie demon than a supervillain. He is the henchman of Omega, and he can also ride in the back of Bane instead of putting him in this transparent stand. Speaking of Bane, here is the second part, the heavy, heavy torso with a hole in the back. Ooh, I wonder if that's for Scarecrow. Well, we'll find out once we build Bane. And here is the trading card and it says in the back Source Batman Last Night on Earth number 2 Scarecrow 20 years in the future Gotham City is a dystopian landscape ruled by a mysterious new villain calling himself Omega Among his lackeys is Scarecrow aka Dr. Jonathan Crane The former Gotham University professor turned supervillain has now become an even more twisted nightmarish version of himself Riding on the back of Bane and brandishing long, fear toxin-filled syringes as fingers, Scarecrow dispenses terror as he hunts down the Dark Knight. Yes, from this pretty awesome final story by Greg Capullo and Scott Snyder, Batman Last Night on Earth, which you can pick up at stores. So we open this. Two more figures to go. And the next one will be the Amazon Warrior Princess herself. Wonder Woman, that's next. Figure number three is Wonder Woman, the Amazon warrior princess, as she appeared in Batman last night on Earth. So we're gonna open it, take it out of the box. It's not as heavy as Scarecrow and Bane, which I had trouble taking out. So this one is a bit lighter. She comes with the arms of Bane. There we go. 
Wonder Woman comes with a cape and a sword. And she sports a very different hairstyle. And here are the arms of Bane. And of course, here is the training card and the stand, which we will take out after we take Wonder Woman out of the clamshell. So that's coming up next. Wonder Woman is out of the box. Here she is with her sword. And even though she doesn't have her iconic long hair, it's all braided. She has a Mohawk style braid. She looks badass. Comes with sword and sheath, tattered cape. Looks very much like how Greg Capullo drew the character. Here are the arms of Bane, of course. The arms are separate from the hands and the torso and the head. Here's the trading card. In the back, Wonder Woman, Last Night on Earth, Data File, First Appearance, or Source, Batman, Last Night on Earth, Number One. Real name, Diana Prince. The world has been destroyed. The superheroes lost, and a new evil by the name of Omega has taken over what's left. Now, 20 years in the future, Wonder Woman leads a faction of heroes and survivors living underground known as the New Amazons. Hiding from the world above in order to stay alive, Diana and her band of warriors must choose between retreating deeper beneath the Earth's surface or fighting for a better tomorrow. So there, freedom fighter, Wonder Woman. 20 years in the future. So, not bad, Batman Last Night on Earth. So that marks three out of four figures opened. We are going to go to the last one, the big baddie of this story himself, Omega. And he comes with the legs of Bane. Here's the back, Greg Capullo art. We're almost there. We're going to be completing Bane. So that's coming up next. The big baddie of this storyline, Omega. Here he is again, as drawn by Greg Capullo. We are going to open the figure from his box right now, but we first have to remove the clamshell. Here he is, Omega, looking very cyber batty. That's a clue for you guys if you want to know who he is. But for those who read the story, you know who it is. I won't be saying it here unless it's in the trading card. We'll find out later. Here's the trading card, and here's the standee, and here's the figure with the final parts for the build a figure Bane, the legs. Omega comes with interchangeable fists. And he will be opening right now. And here he is, the final figure of this four set Bane build a figure wave Omega, the big baddie of. Batman, Last Night on Earth, by Scott Snyder and Greg Capullo. Here he is. I decided to interchange it with the fisted hands because it looks like that. In Greg Capullo's artwork here, there is other default hands. Uh, open, open hand and uh, something to hold a batarang, I guess. Well, he doesn't come with any accessories, so what you see is what you get. He does come with the two final parts for the Bane build a figure, the legs. So here is the trading card. Omega, Batman Last Night on Earth. Uh, data file, of course, this is a spoiler already. He first appeared in Batman Last Night on Earth number 3, and his real name is, no surprise, Bruce Wayne. In a dystopian future after the fall of the heroes, a new evil rose in Gotham City calling himself Omega. Empowered with the anti-life equation, he reigns supreme over the entire East Coast. Now Omega is rumored to have gained the means to control the mind of every living being on Earth, and it's up to Batman, Wonder Woman, and a band of new heroes to defeat the worst villain ever known and free the world. Now, why is it Bruce Wayne? Read the story. It's good. As uh, the final, final storyline of Batman under Snyder and Capullo. So now we're done with the unboxings. And all we have to do now is to complete this guy and assemble him. Bane. 
the guy who broke the bat. And we will see how he stands when we put all of these Build-A-Figure parts together. Yeah, can't wait. Can't wait. There he is. Let's go. There he is, the guy who broke the bat, Bane. Wow, this guy's huge. Look at that Build-A-Figure. Takes a while to squeeze in the legs, but there, I was able to do it. Bulky, man, and there's a peg hole, I guess. So you can put Scarecrow in the back. This is worth it, this set is absolutely worth it. Complete all four figures to build Bane. And now, there he is. I'm impressed. McFarlane Toys made this. Yeah. Heavy too. Alright. Let's have one last look at all the figures before we wrap this up. And here are all the figures of this wave lined up and looking pretty awesome. There's Scarecrow behind Bane as he's supposed to be. Bane is one huge ass action figure as compared to the others here. Batman's okay. Let's take a look. They're okay. Omega, Wonder Woman, and of course Bane with Scarecrow. Nice set and highly recommended if you're trying to complete McFarlane Toys uh, interpretation of Batman Last Night on Earth action figures. So, I'm happy to open this already, finally. Worth it. Absolutely worth it. There we have it. Finally opened the Batman Last Night on Earth set. Made Bane. It's pretty huge there. As I said, absolutely worth it. Thanks for watching, guys. Please do subscribe and follow me in this channel. And you can also follow me in Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. T-I-M-Z-S-T-E-R. I'll see you guys next time. And I'll open more soon.